Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial. I'm hopefully going to show you something really useful and interesting within this video right here, something that you did not know how to do before. This is how to actually detect armor in Minecraft, so being able to detect a Pacific armor set using command blocks. and. We're actually using these two command blocks by the side of me right here in order to get this to work. And what this detector actually is, is that as soon as I put a full set of diamond armor on, as you can see, I've got diamond armor on now, you can see that the detector has activated with the uh, the lit redstone lamp right there. And as soon as I take the armor off, you can see that now the detector has stopped working and it's also very important to note that this detector actually I can, you will be able to see it activated live so as soon as I put on all of this uh, armor right here like this you can see that the redstone lamp is now on but as soon as I take one of the pieces off the detector actually uh, deactivates so this is what I'm going to be showing you today and I'm in Minecraft 1.18.2 and I'm on the Java edition as well just for reference and if you do enjoy this video and learn something new then please show some love on the channel and subscribe it would be very much appreciated and it's important to note that with this detector that I'm showing you today um, you can do a lot more than just place a redstone lamp and um, I'm just doing a redstone lamp um, sort of idea or showcase in order to very simply show you the detector actually working what you could do instead is instead of placing a redstone lamp like this you could place or remove a redstone block or something to kind of activate or deactivate some redstone or something like that but uh, I'm just using the redstone lamp just to show you that the detector is actually working okay and the first thing we're going to do within this video is that I'm going to kind of go through what we actually need to do. And um, uh, first off, we need to get a command block. So if you do not have a command block already, you do slash give your name and then Minecraft colon command underscore block. And that will get you a command block. Okay. And... What I am going to build this with you guys, um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place two command blocks like this pointing in the same direction. And the first one is going to be a repeating command block and you should set it as always active. And then this one's going to be a chain command block and always active. So we're using always active to make sure that we do not need redstone in order to uh, get the detector to work um, in its entirety. So um, if you don't set that, then you, you need to have a redstone signal activating these command blocks. But uh, setting that, make sure that you don't need to bother doing that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of walk through what we actually need to do. Now, basically, uh, with these uh, command blocks right here, what how this actually works is... Um, the placing of the redstone lamp is actually a persistent thing. Now, what I mean by that is that this redstone lamp right here, as you can see, is an infinite redstone lamp. You can't get rid of it. And the reason why is because um, this gets placed over and over and over again when it's detected the armor. Okay, and I'm going to kind of explain that to you guys uh, with the with the signs right here. So uh, in order to get this detector to work, the repeating command block, the first command block needs to remove any lamps. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually remove any lamp that could be here. Okay, and uh, that will become evident in a moment. And then the second command block is going to um, check all armor slots in inventory. Okay, so that's what that is. What the second one's going to do. So what ends up happening is um, if it's detected all of the armor that it needs to find, 
what will happen is that it will remove the lamp, but then it will place the lamp again when this check actually returns a successful result. But if it does not find the armor that it's looking for, uh, so in this case we're looking for a full set of diamond armor, what ends up happening is that this command block removes the lamp, but this one doesn't place it again, so hence the uh, redstone lamp disappears. So that is how this detector actually works, and that is what we're going to be doing for it. Now, um, it's important to note as well, in, a, in order to actually uh, check all of the armor slots in our inventory, we need to understand about what we actually need to check. So... Um, obviously, I'm in the creative uh, inventory right here, but um, every inventory in Minecraft has a head slot, a chest plate slot, a leggings slot, and a boots slot. And each of these slots have its own ID that we can check in the game for the inventory data for the player. So this is how it goes. Uh, the boots slot is ID 100. Um, the legging slot is ID 101. The chest plate is 102. And the helmet is 103. Okay. And that is what we're going to be using. So those are the IDs we need to check uh, in the inventory in order to get this to work. Now, we can actually start to write these command blocks now. So... The first one I'm going to write is to remove any lamps above this command block. And for me, that is very, very simple. And using relative uh, coordinates here, this is what I need to do in order to get rid of any block or lamp above the command block. So if I do a command like this, basically it will set any block above here to, uh, to air. So effectively, if there is a lamp here, it will replace it with an air block, okay? Now, the second one is the juicy command block that actually checks the armor slots, okay? And the first thing we're going to do here is that obviously this first detector that I've made checks a full set of diamond armor, but let's do something else. Let's do a set of netherite armor, okay? So this uh, detector that I'm going to be writing with you guys right here is going to detect a full set of netherite armor, okay? And whatever armor you choose, um, you're going to want to know what the item ID is of the armor pieces that you pick. And how you actually get that is in Java Edition, if you do F3 and H you have to make sure that your um, your advanced tooltips are shown like that, okay? So using the F3 and H key, you can make sure to get that available. And what ends up happening is that when you actually then hover over an item, you'll see that it then says an item ID. So as you can see, this one, a diamond helmet is Minecraft colon diamond underscore helmet. And this uh, never right chest plate right here is uh, minecraft colon neverite underscore chest plate so that is how you find out the item ids that you want to check and now that we have all the information we can now write this command so this is going to be checking the armor slots so we're going to do slash execute execute if entity and then at p which means the nearest player and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking some nbt uh, tags okay and basically we're going to want to do something like this and we're checking data tags because we're checking um, the inventory data in the nbt or within the data of the player which happens to be us so what we are going to do now is we're going to write inventory colon with some square brackets like that and then what you're going to want to do is inside these square brackets you're going to want to have um, a set of four curly brackets like that and the reason why we need four is we are checking four separate inventory slots so that's the four armor slots that we are checking okay 
And this is what we're going to do here. We're going to write slot colon. And then the first one we're going to do is the boots. So we're going to do 100 B. It's very important that you put the B on there because um, I think the inventory data with the slot numbers uses some kind of Boolean value. So true or false kind of thing. So you have to put 100 B in... Um, in the actual command or within the inventory section. And what you then do is you then do comma ID and then in double quotes, you then need to put the item ID. So we are checking for never write boots in this case. So we are going to do Minecraft colon never write boots, okay? And that is the first one done. So I'm now going to do the rest very quickly. So 101B. This is going to be the leggings and we are going to do Minecraft colon and then never write leggings. And then this one is of course going to be, so 102B, this one's going to be the chest plate. So Minecraft colon and then never write and then chest plate like that and then the last one slot 103b which is the helmet is going to be colon and then minecraft colon and uh, never rise and then helmet like that okay so that is the full um data check done so as soon as you've actually done that you're then going to want to do uh run set block and in my case i want to put a lit redstone lamp directly above the command block so for me using relative coordinates i have to do that okay and then we're going to do minecraft colon redstone lamp and then in the square brackets we're going to do lit equals true to make sure that it puts a lit redstone lamp above the command block and that is it. That is the command done. And as you can see, um, the uh, the diamond uh, armor detector is still working, this one over here. But if we take that off and we put on our Neverite armor, you will see that now our detector for the Neverite armor has started to work. So that is how you do a detector to detect armor in Minecraft or a Pacific armor set. And yeah, that's about it. And you can do any kind of armor configuration. So, you know, you could do golden armor. You could do a mix mash. You could have a golden helmet with a chain mail chest plate and so on. So you can do lots of different things with this just to pick any armor set that you want to actually do. And yeah, it is as simple as that. All right, everyone, that's about it for this Minecraft command block tutorial. Hopefully you found this useful and learned how to check or detect armor in Minecraft using command blocks. If you did learn something new and you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell would be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow my Twitter, my Twitter is in the description if you want to follow that. But hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something new. I'm hoping to reach 20,000 subscribers as my next goal. So it'd be great if you could support the channel and join everyone watching here on YouTube. I hopefully will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you have a nice day and I'll see you next time.